boys and girls, welcome back to watch over my shoulder while I am noob visioning all over Neofeude. Uh, Neofeude is this uh, nice little cyberpunk adventure that you can obtain from Itch.io and uh, hopefully soon from Steam because I know it's, it's uh, in the process of being put uh, through direct right now. And by new positioning I mean that uh, uh, while I overthink all the grand theories and conspiracies I also miss like really obvious stuff and and answer some really easy questions wrong because I'm thinking of the wrong question. Right now we have achieved much. We have messed with the time-space continuum and we have confirmed the idea that uh, the uh, mm, glowy, goopy drug is uh, is actually fuel for the space-time do that, and we have also found out that the good professor that we tried to save was kind of up to no good, and also the uh, up to no good professor got rid of uh, our secret friend, who might or might not be Carl Carbon in the future. Hey, uh, thanks for saving our asses back there. It all good, dog. <laughs> <laughs> now you owe me a get out of jail free card. If a majestic Banus pin a golden cop badge back on you. <laughs> I get bounced out of CFC Slammer for free. Sick your mutiny deals, yo. I'm pretty sure Her Royal Highness will grant you immunity without... Oh, jobs. I'm regretting thanking you already. <laughs> also, we picked up uh, the uh, Chloe dude's uh, face mask. I bet that's gonna be significant. That's all. <laughs> Yo, Princess. So, what's our next move? The loss of Gertzel is a major blow to the Egalite Cooperative, unfortunately. My father has a meeting at the Oasis Country Club. It's basically a giant floating <coughs> golf course slash resort for royalty. It's a long shot, but maybe I can convince him to help us out. We'll have to backtrack into the past a bit so I can arrive in my official Royals Royce sky car. Okay, what's the game plan on our end? You guys take the superpositor in invisibility mode and keep an eye on me from a distance in case anything goes wrong. Sounds good. Back to the future. Uh, I mean, the past? This time travel stuff is making <laughs> my head spin now. That's all. <laughs> That's all. Okay, let's examine these coordinates. I don't know how much uh, the uh, player is would be able to you know, scoot back and forth between uh, the different uh, points in the game. So, for example, if I try to do this, okay. And if I try to do this, yeah. So basically, the, it uh, it lets us go where we actually need to go. What happens if we choose this? Okay. Because, like, the natural instinct of a player is to dig around <laughs> with anything. Whee! Is that uh, her thingy or. Ah, oh, no. Carl, Hers can you hear me the okay? Other thingy. We are being secretive. Loud and clear, Sybil. Great. Just remember to stick to the plan, okay? Right. Hang back, stay out of sight, keep an eye out for trouble. It seems the superpositor's stealth cloak mode is working. Great. And don't get too close to my father's Zep yacht. It's got a built-in missile defense system <laughs> and an air force of drones. Aye, aye, ma'am. So, do you think your dad will really listen? 
I don't know if I can turn my father from the one percenter dark side, but I have to at least try. If I can't garner his support, we'll have to go to plan B. Overthrow. War like, is the continuation literally? of diplomacy by other means, right? Yeah. Well, we have to hope for the best. Good luck politicking, princess. Like, for a floaty thing, this this has rather flimsy banisters. <laughs> Rich important people. <laughs> Okay, we are controlling princes right now, so we don't have to worry about this ship. <laughs> In that case, let's observe. Okay, she doesn't. She can't see it, obviously. Damn, Walker, you've really upped your golf game. I've swung a lot of heavy metal in my day. You Clinton Bushes always got the trump card in politics, though. Don't short your own stock, Walker. I'm sure you'll be taking my Martian resort for me any day now. In fact, I'll throw in my Jupiter mining colony. Ha! <laughs> that Gates Walton kid still badgering you to let him use your orbital station? Nola, is it? Oh, gosh. That plus a trillion in seed capital for his interstellar adventures. It can be your problem, George. Jobs on a stick. Am I seeing things, or is that that psycho General Walker Coke Jobs that tried to gun us down with his warplane at the Capitol? That's him. Oh no, this is all wrong. Just keep your eyes peeled, Carl, and be ready to get us out of here. Walker could be setting a trap for us. Yes, ma'am. And... and Princess? Yes? You be... you be careful out there, okay? You're our only hope. I, I mean, you represent us common people. We can't lose you. I'll do my best, Carl. Princess uh. Sybil! Great to see you all in one piece, darling! Your dad was worried sick about you. Oh, so this is after the thing. Uh, yes, I'm fine. Thank you, General Coke Jobs. Sibs, there you are. I don't know. The general here has just been telling me that you've been busy of late. <laughs> y yes, I've been working on a number of projects and initiatives. Your daughter's been doing some great work, Warren. I ran into her at the okay, Capitol, after. in fact. Really? That's right. She was down there, lobbying the government to help with them poor low city ragamuffins, especially the foster robots. That's my Sybil, heart of gold. <laughs> I was down there overseeing the rollout of new security measures. You can never be too careful, especially in light of current events. That's right. Those slum sprawl terrorists commandeered a CJ-74 Archangel and shot out an entire floor, right? A damn shame what it is. An attack on us royalty? In our own castle? The hubris of it. We need to hit them goddamn radical Islamist robo-terrorists back hard. Uh, no offense, Princess. None taken, General. We better not broadcast our attack to the public just yet. Better to just do some executive order backdoor strikes. Loose lips sink ships. Ain't that right, Sybil? Absolutely, General. 
While I'm generally not in favor of violence, we've got to keep quiet about our machinations. We wouldn't want the wrong people getting wind of what we're up to. That's great, Princess. I'm real glad we all understand each other. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some business to handle before the G8 summit. Warren? Princess? Of course. See you there, Walker. That's the Coke Jobs attack drone that hit us at the Capitol. Sybil, we gotta get the hell out of there. Oh, Jobs. No, I can't run unless the General makes a move, or King Warren will be onto us and the Egalite Cooperative will be ruined. If that plane opens fire in this golf course, you and your father will be torn to shreds. I know. Please let him just leave. The chronology mashed up a little bit. Is it just the same type of vehicle or is it the same vehicle? Oh, thank jobs. That was close. Sims, such a wonderful surprise. How's that fancy air car I bought for you working out? Not still pulling to the left, is it? How's your mother? <laughs> Dad, come on. You know I hate Sims. I'm not five anymore. <laughs> of course, darling. Oh, good. We're out of earshot. Where the hell have you been, young lady? I took 500 of my best CIA off the case, installing my technocrats in China and the Eurozone just to look for my rebel princess daughter. You know that's what the neo-feudals are calling you now? The rebel princess? You know how that makes me look at world economic summits? How the hell am I supposed to run these planets if my own daughter won't even back me up? OMG, Dad. It's not <laughs> my fault that my humanitarian work is against the grain of your royal country club. That's where I've been this entire time, doing real work on the ground with my mixed species, mixed income community initiative. You always told me to think for myself and do something great with my life. Well, I'm doing that and making the world a more equal and just place is my great calling. You're the leader and keynote speaker of the G8 Summit tonight. You could change the culture, maybe back me up for once. Sybil, Sybil, Sybil. <laughs> oh, my innocent little flower girl. If only you truly understood how power really worked, you'd know why that's not possible. I am not your naive little daddy's girl, and I will not be condescended to anymore. I am trying to help provide equal opportunities to the 99% non-royals, build communities, bridge the interspecies racism that is tearing everyone apart, one riot, shooting, and terrorist attack at a time on the planets you claim to be running, but you mostly just ignore and exploit. You want me to treat you like a grown-up? Fine. Here's the hard truth, princess. There have always been the haves and the have-nots, and that's the way we'll always be. Let's say I open up the Clinton Bush coffers to the commoners, the unwashed terrestrials. Redistribute wealth. Sure, they would be eating lobster nightly, sporting shiny chrome body parts, the skies would fill with flying cars. For a time... But helping the poor is like throwing money into a fire. They just burn it up and ask for more. There's no return on investment. I've already pushed billions in aid to terrestrial slums for all this year alone with nothing to show for it. That's because it's all being funneled into slush funds of corrupt cronies. My own cousin, the mayor, and the director of sentient services were lining their own pockets with public money, as I discovered at the Capitol. And what does actually reach the poor is going to overcomplicated, discriminatory, and inadequate welfare. It's fine to do some philanthropic work here and there, hold some starving robot kids, or do some boutique urban gardening photo op with inner city transgenic youth to get the liberals on your side. But not too much. <laughs> you can call it crony capitalism, or you can call it putting family first. The way I help you, my daughter. But a bigger problem is that if we were to start putting more than token resources towards the billions and billions of hungry mouths down there, the other dynasties would sense weakness. And as our resources waned, they would come after our castle. Then someone, the coke jobs probably, would take our place as dominant neo-feudal power. And we all know that Walla General is only happy when it's raining bullets and bombs. <laughs> His itchy trigger finger would hit the big red button and start World War III the second he was given the ultimate throne without our family to put him in check. So you see, that is the heavy golden crown of thorns I must wear, my dear. 
You may call me evil, and maybe I have some of that in me. But I, Warren Clinton Bush, am the lesser of two evils by far. We can't always have utopia, my dear princess. Sometimes we have to be strategic, settle for what is achievable. Compromise. That is the heart of politics, after all. True equality, democracy, that's a fantasy of the left. That's ludicrous. If sentients on the ground just had enough to lift themselves out of the poverty trap, who knows what they could do? Who knows how many great scientists, engineers, artists, the next Einstein, the next Noah Goetzel, could be living in that slum, slaving at a dead-end job, forced to become a drug lord to survive, wasting his talent just because we, the 1%, wanted a bigger piece of the pie. All people of all races and substrates could be living happier and more productive lives. Doesn't that mean anything? How can you be so heartless? I can see we may have to agree to disagree, my dear. Here, baby, y you need some money? <laughs> Take a few billion and go start a charity. Or another one of them open source, mixed income, trans species villages or whatever you call it. Just uh, don't use any real estate from 57th to Obama Street. We're making a new resort. I mean, uh, <laughs> regentrifying that area. Fine, Dad. I guess I'll see you at the G8 Summit. That old, egocentric, patronizing, ignorant old... Ah! This is why I left the capital. Hey, Sybil. Uh, no one can say you didn't try. You pleaded your case through the proper channels. You tried the politics. Those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. I just wish it wasn't my own father we have to overthrow. But it must be done. Stupid old meal feudal. <sighs> Let's just get out of here. Swoosh. Fulcrum, a palace levitating above a megalopolis, hovering above math's slum sprawl, home of the 1% of the 1% of the 1%. Looks like I'm just in time for the G8 Summit, a yearly conference attended by the most powerful neo-feudal dynasties. Families of kings, presidents, executives, military leaders, religious leaders, lifestyle gurus. As a representative of the dominant family, the Clinton Bushes, I'll need to keep up appearances. I have to do my princess wave, shake all the right hands, stand in the photo ops, maybe give a speech about world peace. All the while ensuring that Carl and Proto J sneak in and the Egalite Cooperative's coup d'etat is successful. The world is counting on us. No pressure. <laughs> Princess Sybil Clinton Bush, welcome to the G8 Summit. We apologize for the inconvenience, but we must do a routine scan of your vehicle for security reasons. Of course, go ahead. <laughs> Whee! Your Highness, there seems to be a problem. We'll also need to scan your personal security detail. What? Why? What's the problem? Probably just a minor oversight, but your Royal Guard security clearance codes appear outdated. Can we get the scan waived? I'm kind of in a rush. I have to give a talk on curing poverty in like five minutes. 
My deepest apologies, princess. But rules are rules. <laughs> I'm sorry, there are some discrepancies here that need to be inspected. As mandated in Fulcrum security protocols, I have already notified King Warren Clinton Bush. Very sorry for the inconvenience, Princess. Oh no, I screwed up. So, do we. Okay. Try again. Right, so. Princess Sybil Clinton Bush, welcome to the G8 Summit. We apologize for the inconvenience, but. I don't see why I need to be scanned. I'm a Clinton Bush. My family is the most powerful dynasty in the solar system. Uh, my deepest apologies, your highness. This is just a routine security measure. Let's wear them out first. Is that so? Well, I order you to change your routine procedure. Do you want me to drop a royal decree and have you recycled for insubordination? Uh, uh no. Of course not. My humblest, sincerest apologies, your majesty. Please have mercy. I was merely following orders. Yes, yes, I'm so sorry, so sorry. Grovel, grovel. Just get out of my way. <laughs> All right. I'd just like to take a little stroll around the palace grounds. It's been a while since I've been home. Of course, your highness. Of course. Oh, okay. First, we save the game. New location. Boop, boop. Yes. Is that the bone? Hmm. Oh, it's small, okay. Well, if you have a coin, you drop it in a, uh, in a fountain, of course. a bit of energy to keep this floating.
have been quite small to get lost in this one. That's more fountains. Oh, these are my guys. Okay, let's go. Hi, Father. Sibs, I can trust you to be on good behavior, right? No stealing the mic and bursting into communist rants, flipping banquet tables, or PR stunts involving tarn feathers, right? Yes, Father. I'll be good for this summit. Promise. 
That's what I like to hear. This virgin's blood pinot is exquisite, by the way. Do try it. Uh, I hate, hate, hate this. Okay, let's talk to the Princess others then. Sarah! Princess Sybil, great to see you. <laughs> I'm such a huge fan. When you took the 2027 Transplanetary Academy Awards by the storm by defiling your pure human body, it was such an epic, brave move, inserting your consciousness into a vat-grown body with 30% feline genes. You totally inspired me to become a transcorporeal ally to disenfranchised sentient species. Oh, stop spoiling me. I wish the mainstream media hadn't <laughs> overhyped the scandal of my transgender interspecies vessel. It ended up overshadowing the social justice movement I was promoting. But, c'est la vie. In truth, it was badly received in elite circles. But that wasn't what really ruffled feathers. It was when I married a common seamstress slash singer from an L.A. ghetto, someone so far below my social economic class. Not the fact that I became the first openly lesbian royal, but that I'd married a simple cosplayer micro-celeb with less than a billion hype tube views. That's when I drew attacks from other neo-feudals as a treason against the ruling elite. Tell me about it. That's what happens when you threaten the status quo. Weren't you actually, like, assassinated, JFK style, shot in your motorcade to that charity event for hashtag Common Lives Matter in Paris? Luckily, I had a backup of my consciousness and was able to re-sleeve into a new cloned body. <laughs> oh, righty. Good afternoon, Emperor Z. We are pleased to see you, Princess Sibyl. The People's Empire of China has utmost respect for you and your father. Princess Hello. Sybil, the fulcrum is brightened by your presence. Thank you for coming, Your Majesty. I hope that Europe is recovering from the war, the second Dresden firebombing. A catastrophe, no doubt, one that we all deeply regret. However, Europe has retaken its place as a manufacturing powerhouse. Aero BMW, sky yachts, surrogate cyber bodies, orbital platforms, they are at an all-time high. It sounds like the EU is really bouncing back then. The only problem is there are only jobs for super intelligent machines. The guilds, the trades are lost. Unemployment is at 90%. I regret to say it, but lower Europe resembles less eutopia than more the medieval dark ages, full of sectarian violence, starvation and plagues, except with smartphones and assault rifles. We have performed aid drops, tried to help those below, but populist animosity is at an all-time high. We elite have lost control of our territory. We rule only the clouds. I have heard of your work with the terrestrials, the sentient underclasses. If only we could replicate this on my continent. Your father has nearly infinite resources. If you could perhaps speak with him? I wish I could help your majesty, I really do, but my father and I don't see eye to eye. I act against his will, in fact. If I were the monarch of my neo-feudal dynasty, this would be a different world, but as it is, King Warren holds the keys to the kingdom. You knew your majesty, the dark ages weren't actually very dark, it's just that uh, the sources from, from those eras were for a long time unknown. Sybil, I'm sorry about my crassness at the Aww. capital. I've set up a Gates Walton Charitable Foundation to handle support for the Trithrew Poor, and I'm donating Big League to it. This isn't another money laundering scheme to pay off your foreign allies tax-free while simultaneously attempting to woo bleeding heart liberals like me with fake philanthropy, is it? Absolutely not. I'm sincere here. <laughs> then you wouldn't mind appointing your lefty sister, Princess Sarah, as chairwoman of the board then? I, I can't believe you still don't trust me. Did what we had mean nothing? We had a two-week fling, Nolan, and I was 17 and naive. You're going to regret this, Sybil. <laughs> Whatever, Nolan. Hello. Uncle Patty. Sybil, oh my, you've grown into a beautiful lotus. I remember when you were just a wee little bud. You taught me to play cricket, made me fall in love with Alu Gobi. How could I forget? 
Thank you again for that letter of recommendation when I applied for Yaleford. It was my pleasure. By the way, after you try the beluga caviar, treat your palate to the gold-plated tikka masala. I snuck my mother's recipe into the Android chef's AI. Sneaky! Oh, okay. So, I should also say because I don't want to talk to all of these people again. I mean, at least not as much. What can I do with this? Okay. Can we park? Like, maybe we should... I don't know. Okay, I think we have to go around. Maybe we should uh, go back in time before the security stuff is... Ah, get down, get down! No, 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 no! No! <laughs> oh, okay, so do I do I need to avoid those? Uh, I think it's better. Yeah, it seems like a good idea to avoid those. Can I? Uh, okay, I don't understand where I can and where I can't go. Okay. Damn! Lost them. Horus, this is Talon 5-2. I've lost the bogey on Graviton Scan. Please advise. Okay, so we will have to go high enough. Over here, and can we go down here? No, 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 no. Are we? Halt! Ah. Yeah. Now the thing is that uh, after I go up, oh, I have some doodads. Okay. What's this? Can you scramble aircraft with it? No. Nah. We can't roll up close enough to these motherfuckers for my mind tricks to work. They ships be dipping their radar noses in our gravity whales. Take us out with them RPGs. Yeah, the main issue here is that uh, when I'm up here, then when I click down. Oh, I, I think we have to move a little bit. So when I'm 
come up here and I'm clicking down, then they don't really go down. They go... Like, they, they don't come in front of the palace, they go like... All over the place. Okay, let's wait until this one... down now pretty please I don't know how this works fuck Ugh. why yeah that, that's the thing uh, the craft isn't really going where I'm clicking so I have no clue Ugh. Standard. We have a shitload of uh, gadgets, but shouldn't we like successfully? Shouldn't uh, shouldn't successful infiltration mean that we, you know, get past them without causing anything? I mean, oh, there's one. Okay. Sickles are over there. Oh, can we talk to them? Okay. So, can we go down here? It appears not. And now, where are we now? Oh. We are behind the oh. menu. Yeah. Fuck. Damn! Do we have to blow the thing already? Sybil? What's up, Carl? Make it quick. I have to do a keynote in a few. We could use some of that neo-feudal influence about now. The Fulcrum air security is impregnable. I'll see what I can do. They are that impregnable? Are these my guys? Yeah, I think these are my guys. Your Highness, I'm at your service. I have just received word that one of the Aeromax Zep freighters approaching from the southeast may have an antimatter bomb in the engine compartment and a squadron of X-1000s. Uh, another Icarus attack from the Low City? No, this is likely to be an interdynastic coup attempt. I'll have to report this up the chain of command. No, you will not. Are you deaf? I said this is likely an inside job, and we won't find the mole if they tell their commandos the operation has been compromised. We'll need to pull from our official Fulcrum Palace perimeter fleet to check out an Aeromax. Did you not swear an oath and have it neurally programmed into your cybrain to protect royalty? This is a direct threat on the Clinton Bush family. You will inspect the freighter at any cost. Yes. Of course, Your Highness. Okay, so which one goes away? Oh, okay. Now that... Okay, so... If we go here now... Uh... Pretty please? Ah, so was that it? We have to approach from this side? No! We are going off screen! I don't know where we are! No! Uh... Hello? Can we go down now? No? No, 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 Don't go to that guy. Are we... Are we stuck on the flagpole? Come on, this is just silly. Time's 
Space Warping Technology, Foil Fire Flagpole. So can we dive through from under here? Oh, is that it? We can't go to the other side? Uh, I don't understand. Or do we need to deal with this one somehow? So why could the security do that, lie back and forth on this one, but we can't? Just go down there. Oh, who's wait, whose ship is this then? Uh, I guess look for an entrance means that we have to... So I guess we can't just uh, put our asses down on the main lawn here, I guess. So if we're in front of them... So these guys don't seem to see us. Can we go to the roof? No? Here comes the flagpole again. Can we take the flag down? Um. Somehow I get Oh, 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 what's that? Yeah, like why can why can they fly over there and we can't? Again, I'm not sure what is supposed to be happening and what is not supposed to be happening. Oh, another, as in another... Another method, not another route. Oh, okay, so the golden thing. Mm. Hello. are vulnerable to the to this hey proto can you use your mind control on these security guards hmm yeah maybe 
If you can pull this ride up close enough. No problem. <laughs> I've just got orders from the top to return to the ballroom. We're being relieved. <laughs> what? We're scheduled for warehousing for the duration and I wasn't notified. They're saying it's urgent. Highly improbable. You should check your earpiece. I... What? Yo, dog. I gotta pee like a mofo for real. <laughs> what? Why are you using that low city dialect? Our synthetic bodies have complete metabolic recycling. We have no urine or bladders. Ah, uh, I might have contracted a, a neurovirus whilst streaming season three of Throne Games to my cybrain last night. Better have it scanned for brain bugs <laughs> later. Smooth. Right, let's get back to the ballroom. Drive by shooting, drive by mind wrecking. That's some ball of shit right there. Okay, so we go here. Uh, okay, so it is only able to go where it can do something. I suppose. Uh, are we parked now? I don't un I don't get it. Can we call? Okay. Can we go in there? Onto the cargo. Okay, the cargo itself doesn't seem to be searchable. I mean, I'm I'm trying. Okay. Prosperity has never been greater. The flourishing of all of our houses remains at all-time highs. Gross celestial product is up 30%, and dynastic employment amongst fully verified sentient species is at 99%. Geosynchronous resort cities are booming. Luxury skycraft and spacecraft are churned out by labor-free robotic plants by the dozen. A Martian colony has broken ground in the first sister city with Venus terraforming coming along smoothly, and profits from asteroid mining has taken off. On my 12th birthday, I received no super yacht in the shape of a whale, no private orbital Disneyland theme park or directorial ownership of my favorite kids show like most kids do. I wanted my pony princess, but I digress. No, my father's present was to give me the city once known as New York, to rule as chief executive lord and mayor. It was my job to lower taxes for the wealthy, to sit on the boards of major Wall Street banks, increase corporate profits, and ensure the Clinton Bush estate continued to grow from its meager one trillion dollars. Humble beginnings, I know. I learned more in that twelfth year of my life than perhaps any year since. I learned the way the world truly worked has always worked. I helped double our dynasty's net worth by the following year. The year after that, not only New York, but the entire United States of America went into bankruptcy during the global smash crash, and the Clinton Bushes were there to swoop in, buy the entire country for pennies on the dollar. I'll never forget what he said the day Dad signed over the ten trillion estate to my name and entered indefinite cryosleep in his golden coffin. One day, you will have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over every living thing that moves on the earth, and all other earths. He was paraphrasing the Bible, of course, which was unusual for my father, who only went to church to lot their money and went over Christian voters, but the words stayed with me to this day. Dominion over every living thing on earth, and all other earths. This was the word of God. Now I realize I come from a lineage of presidents, CEOs, financial magnates, kings and emperors, spanning six continents, five planets and over a century. I don't want to be one to pat myself on the back, but as the great Ayn Rand once said, 
Wealth is the product of man's capacity to think. We are the ones who created this bright, golden, luxurious future we all inhabit through our innovation, ingenuity, and hard work. We, the neo-feudal elite, the captains of industry. I think we here all deserve a little congratulations for our work. It's only fair for our hard work that we should be rewarded with dominion over all of these terrestrial living things. That includes the 99%. They're ours to subdue, to use as we see fit. For, like pets or cattle, they're not smart enough to efficiently manage themselves. Dad was so smart, so prophetic. All Earths. I used to think he simply meant the other planets, which we now clearly rule, but as the late great Dr. Noah Goertzel revealed to us, they're not only other planets, but other realities. Countless, parallel universes that exist beside us, in other dimensions. We deserve dominion over these other Earths as well. And that is what we shall soon achieve, friends, with this penultimate technology, the so-called Garden of Forking Paths. The Garden of Creation. The Garden of Eden. And it is only right that we should return to Paradise. For dare I say, we are doing God's work. A toast to doing God's work. A great speech, Warren. But you know as well as I do that the Garden of Forking Paths cannot be used without the key which Goethe has kept hidden from us. In addition, a unanimous vote of the Neo-Feudal Council is required. The ability to alter reality itself? No one should have such godlike power. It will destabilize the balance we have created. Indeed. And you'll never get my vote, Father. Ah, <laughs> such a cute, precocious little daughter I've raised, no? <laughs> I realize that we have not always seen eye to eye, but you must realize the true possibilities of the technology. Imagine the countless other poor folks you could help feed and clothe in these other realities. We should take care of the misfortunate in our own reality before worrying about others. Yes, what? Uh oh. <coughs> Father, are you all right? Your Majesty. Lerk. <coughs> Man down, man down! <laughs> King Warren has fallen! I'm not getting a pulse. No apnea or neural activity. The body appears to be rapidly decomposing. From the speed and color, I'd say it was a nano deconstructor. It'll be turning his brain into porridge by now. So he can't remote download his personality out of his shell. Father? Well, this is just a terrible turn of events. But as next highest ranking member of the Neo-Feudal Council, I hereby assume the position of chairman. What? You probably poisoned him, you bastard. You're a traitor, Walker, and that is my father. I am heir to the throne. I am the rightful chairwoman. Oh, now, darling, let's not go tossing the T-word around or someone just might get their glass house cracked. But who makes you queen anyway? You? You in whose army, princess? You in whose army? Uh -oh. The cook drops forces! Guards, stop them! Oh, oh god, no. this is all wrong. I, the Egalite Cooperative was supposed to do a coup d'etat against my father, not Walker. As chairman of the Neo-Feudal Council, I hereby suspend all rules and regulations and institute autocratic... Oh, hell, I'm in charge now, okay? Boys, please take the rest of the council. Oh, except uh, Mr. Nolan there. I'm appointing him as my right-hand man. Nolan? Nolan, you sniveling little backstabber, you've been plotting with the coke jobs this entire time? Oh, come now, sweetheart. We had a thing, but then you had to go and break my heart. You never loved me, you pompous upstart rocket boy. You just wanted me for my money. 
And if you could have just played politics and given it to me like everyone else, I wouldn't have had to join your family's rival dynasty and build next-gen military technology for them. Pity. Enough of this lovey-dovey romance crap. More action. Operation Apocalypse Now is a go. I repeat, initiate Operation Apocalypse Now. That's the problem with all these foreign wars. You have to watch them on GNN News through a little screen. Wars on the homeland get you right in the action. You royal folks stay here. My troops will keep you company while I watch the fireworks. Yahoo! Time to reap that whirlwind, baby! Time to reap what man has sown! Horus, this is Talon 1. We had visual on amassing force of military aircraft, mostly CJ-74 overthrowers. They claim to be reinforcements against a red alert terror threat. Please advise. Uh, Princess Sybil, sorry, you're breaking up. What's happening? Where is King Warren? King Warren is dead. Destroy overthrowers. Sorry, Princess. It seems someone is jamming our communications. I'll, uh... Wait! We have confirmed airborne attacks. It looks like the coke jobs are attempting a full-scale assault on the fulcrum. Defend the palace. the downside of 1%. They are small in numbers. Same. Also, I also need to know what, does, what this does. Interesting. I suppose we... Oh, we can't switch the car. Huh. I guess we might as well blow... Carl! Everything has gone sideways! We're being held hostage in the throne room! Okay. We're on our way, Sybil. Just hang in there. We're bringing the secret weapon. General, we've discovered a Class 7 unidentified craft with advanced cloaking and quantum technology. A human cyborg and a heavily modified humanoid robot were sighted, but we lost track of them. Yes, sir. Princess Sip, you wouldn't happen to have a little ragtag crew of misfits sneaking around the fulcrum now, would you? I'm here alone. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, come on, sweetheart. You're a better politician than that. I know you can lie better about your what's it called? Eagle Corporation. Enron Corp. Egalite Cooperative. That's it. Yes. Now, as much as I love smoking out a gorilla myself, takes me back to Cambodia in 68. I ain't got time for that. So, Princess, you're gonna tell me where Charla is, or I'm gonna have to start impeaching the Neo-Feudal Council one by one with bullets. You're insane. I'll never talk. I love your spirit, girl. You've got that millennial spunk to you. You guys get a bad rap. Captain, go ahead and shoot Mr. Patel in the forehead for me, will you? Yes, sir. Uh oh, I just knew that it would take him first because. Oh, God! He's You're closest a monster. to her. Maybe so, ma'am. 
But it's rich old blue bloods like you that sent me and my brothers into seven different wars where we shot kids and blew up hospitals. So who's worse, Frankenstein or his creators? You're goddamn hypocrites. All right, all right, no more, I'll talk. My associates are... Yes, speak out, girl. There. Everyone get down! Hello. Jesus Christ, it's a fucking A-51. Check it out. Stay proud till you check your six. You might be able to catch it on in for it. Fucking thing's faster than a cheetah bot, and it's got neutron armor. Game over, man. Get your submarine straight, Corporal. If we don't take this rogue prototype down, we'll all be decommissioned for recycling. Try flushing it out of cloak with an EMP. Fire in the hole! Now! <sighs> the hostile is down. Check its vitals. <laughs> I gotta represent the Chrome Boys and cap all them CJ Dwanks. I hear you, Proto. But we can't go gangsta with two pistols against a bunch of fully automatics. We've got to play this game like the Neo Feudal. We've got to play it like chess. I feel you. Call the shot, Carl. Looks like the big guy's down for the count. But we can't risk another Charlie Fox trot on the slim chance he resurrects. Hicks, Velasquez. Stay on the A-51. Reinforcements should be in at any second. Save. Okay, who's controlling? Uh, okay, so we have... Carl, we have... Prodigy... Are they hidden from the others at the moment? I mean, if these guys... Oh... Can he wake him? So there are like... Five guys... All the loyals... That's one of the Clinton Bush try. conspirators! Terminate them! Okay, so this doesn't work. Right. Okay, that's the reinforcements. Got it. So these guys must be hidden in here at the moment. And <laughs> I mean, if I get the civilians down, they would be not as in danger, I suppose. I suppose when he uh, starts shooting, That's one of the Clinton Bush conspirators. Terminate them. Okay. So 
just alone doesn't work. So neither of them should come out from behind this and just start blasting. Can she? Oh, can she move around? Stay where you are. Okay. Charge, overcharged princess? No, okay. And do anything with them, he would have to step out of there. So we're like, we're operating on the assumption that right now the spot guys can't see them. You can't shoot the chandelier? Okay. Let's see, can you do something to the chandelier? Uh, right now it's it's car, so can we taste the chandelier? that whatever we are doing we would have to do it here. Can you do the thing now? Let's try. Jobs Christ! That sounded like an antimatter bomb. You do. Go check it out. Okay, so now we're down to Free guys. Let's save. I'm guessing that it's still not gonna work just like that. That's one of the Clinton Bush conspir- Yeah, because just this one guy can take care of him. Oh, okay, so he can do that with us. You all right, sir? Check. I'm smooth operating this nigga. Let me know when you're ready to hit it, car. Yeah, I thought I had already tried that and failed, but I suppose I didn't. Perfect. Wait for my signal, then take out the one on the right. We'll only get one shot at this. Roger. I'm in the zone. <laughs> hey! Now! Make it stop! Check more flacking mate, yo! Aw, oh, that was the dopest place in 
Shaquille O'Steel slam dunk over Barry Silver in the 2028 RNBA Championship. I love it when a conspiratorial plot to overthrow another conspiracy comes together. You guys were amazing. I could kiss you. Whee! As uh, nice as that would be, I'm... Uh, well, I was... Uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, Princess. We came as fast as we could. Thank God you guys showed up when you did. What do we do now? We don't have the military resources here to stand up to the cock jobs. They are too powerful. <laughs> cock jobs. There's <laughs> only one thing we can do. We have to vote to unlock the Garden of Forking Paths. It has the power to alter reality itself and is the only thing that can undo this havoc. But the key to the garden. No one has been able to find it for years despite so much effort searching for it. I... I have found the key to the garden. What a coincidence. Impossible. You must believe me. I have the key and it is the only way to end this. We must vote now before it's too late. Do it! We may regret it, but I see no choice. Europe cannot withstand another war. I vote yes. Then we have a unanimous vote of the remaining non-rogue council. I will get the key to the garden. You have my word. Carl, the superpositor? Is it still intact? Yeah. Air Force One is still docked and fully cloaked and loading Bay 3. As for the rest of the Neo-Feudal Council, you should evacuate immediately on my personal transport. Clinton Bush agents still loyal to me will help you escape. Thank you, Sybil. We are all deep in your debt. Quickly, Carl, Proto, we've got to move before the General returns with ground reinforcements. Quick, we've got to get to the elevator to the Fulcrum's main facilities. Do we have to actively play it out, or do they... Ah, okay, they will just move on their own. Boop, boop. Ooh! Hey, there's another one up in what here. The... What is this place? This is the Fulcrum Research Facility. This is where the Golem Project was founded and carried out. Where Noah Gertzel worked for my family for years. This? This the crib I was born in? Where Pops manufactured my main brain? Yes, Proto. You spent your Alpha and Beta test days in one of these cells to ensure you were viable. Wait. If... If I kicked it as a shorty in this top secret lab, why come I don't remember none of it? It's standard procedure for all products, sorry, for all sentients to have their hardware and or wetware formatted to factory settings before shipment. What? What you trying to say? They wipe my brain board like an etch-a-sketch before flushing me down the toilet? Yes. They didn't want any... Uh -oh. Any what? Any crones or franken freaks spilling to the news about how they was jammed full of needles and trodes and Dissected like a fucking science frog with some egghead's experiments? Essentially, yes. Although whistleblowers are generally marginalized by corporate state controlled media as tinfoil conspiracy theorists, then assassinated. <laughs> so, as if they backed up the memory wipe, I would have just been thrown in the loony bin then? Recycled? That shit supposed to make me feel better? I I'm sorry, Proto. It was horrible. What happened still happens here. I'm sorry I didn't do enough at the time, Proto. I really am. But if we can get to the Garden of Forking Paths, if we, the Egalite Cooperative, succeed, we can change all of this. Like we totally. better get going. The coke jobs can't be far behind. Um, okay, what do we do now? Save, of course. Do we do something here, or...? <gasps> Where are we now? Are we are we in G2 right now? Okay. Oh, G2 is even deeper. 
Whoa, hello. What is this place? Is this the Garden of Forking Paths? I I'm not sure, but if Gertzel is telling the truth, we should be on the right track. I don't remember this facility during my time on the Golem Project. Well, we have entered a new location and I could use a break. I would say I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. You can get new food from Ichio and also I'm going to uh, link uh, Chris's homepage here where he has all the links and also a link to a new little prototype. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!